February uh, 15, 2017. This is a quick look at a capacitive level measurement system using almost no hardware. So I've got an Arduino Uno 1 meg resistor, two digital inputs, and two wires. And this is very flaky, so if it jumps around, some of the jumping around is because the capacitance of all these wires, you can see it moves around as I'm touching this. So shielded cables are probably needed to make this more reliable, if it needs to be more reliable. And just that touching it has made it look like we're in six inches of water. There's some drifting. So on the left-hand side of the uh, scroll lead numbers, the first number is the raw data coming, which is timing, arbitrary units. And the next one is calibrated uh, in inches. And calibration is really simple. It's just a spreadsheet. Uh, my container went to 10 inches, so that's where I stopped. And then you can see the data here. It's not perfect, but then again, none of my setup is perfect. Uh, the uh, My two strips of copper going down the pipe don't have a constant gap. I've got varying thicknesses of silicone covering them up so it's it's not actually in contact with the water and I don't have it ver perfectly vertically oriented so with a careful test setup and careful construction it would probably be a lot better these copper strips are peel and stick copper this stuff here and uh, just has the wires soldered onto it so let's uh, let's watch I'm going to push reset because it looks like I've got some other problems. We'll hopefully it'll start over at zero. Okay, so here we're off by a tenth of an inch and let's drop down. Let's go an inch. And, and this data is heavily filtered so uh, it has a slow response time. And again, shielded cables and tuning, uh, changing the gaps between the two pieces of copper and so on would probably improve this. So let's see, two inches. Let's get in the gap here. Two inches. Three inches. Four inches. Five. Six. Seven. Three. It'll take a while to respond to get back up. Let's lift it up a little bit. My arm's starting to get tired. So this is creeping up on three asymptotically. And let's try eight inches. It's creeping up on it. And this is again a software filter because it's pretty noisy. And let's go, let's go down all the way to 10. And of course, as soon as I take my hand off of it, we expect it to, to have a little bit of a jump because I'm not influencing the cables anymore. So there's that. Let's uh, let's let's do some some random stuff here. Let's see. Let's change my filter to be less filtered and let's make a graph so I'm going to put the new let's just watch the digital data and let's watch the graph so we can visualize what it looks like and see what the noise is uh, in a battery powered field system see we've got something got wonky there for some reason it's sees this as a zero so I'm going to hit reset see whether 
that does need think different. That's interesting. So this is a discovery. I always make discoveries when I make a video. So uh, let's look at a graph to see what the data looks like. So the red line is the number of inches and the blue line is the raw measurement which now there's a good a fair chance that I have a leak in this because this silicone was only put on about an hour ago and let's see whether whether we can get it okay we can see that is going down to zero let's just push reset and see we get we expect to have a values at about the offset which is about 200 which looks like that's about where that is so a little more research needs to be done but this concept seems to work a lot better than I expected it to uh, okay let me get this out of here so that we can see the leading edge Let me dry this off, see what difference that makes. All right. And of course, that spike is from touching it. So we're getting there down to that 150, 180. That's the, the offset. And again, I'm, I'm touching the top of it, so I'm influencing. Let me just lean it against here, take my hand off. And we've got, a, we're in this room, we have a fluorescent light, incandescent lights, LED lights, computer, computer monitors. So all these things are making a lot of electrical noise and this is not a well shielded system. If we're out in a nice quiet um, stream bed somewhere, uh, potentially with a, a copper ground bar driven in, hooked on to uh, one side of this, it might quiet it right down. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what we get. Let's just, just go to five inches. And the blue line is the raw value, so kind of make it go up and down. Let's go back to the digital data since it's easier to read. Okay, and for some reason, we're back with uh, not working right again. Interesting, thumping it made a difference. It made the dogs think somebody's knocking at the door too. So I think there's a mechanical problem, maybe a bad solder joint, maybe a bad joint on my Arduino or something like that. Okay, so now we're back to close to zero. And let's put this into uh, six inches, see whether it jumps over to six. Okay. Then 10, then three, Of course, when I pull it in and out, we've got water that's, that's residual water hanging out on the side of it, which is going to bias it a little bit. As the, when, the, when it falls, there'll be a delay in drying, and then when it rises, it'll be a delay in the other way. And 
and let's take it out and see whether it goes back to zero. Okay, so uh, with with some better construction, you can see in here at the bottom. I've got a pretty wide gap. That's a sharpie mark that was my alignment line. And then as we got as we get up toward the top, narrows down. So there's that effect. And then there's silicone smeared all over this to try to keep the water out. And that's not equal thickness. So the water doesn't actually the water doesn't actually approach to make to be the dielectric in this capacitor that's formed across here when we put water. Actually you can see with my since I'm holding this now, I'm making, I'm affecting this too. Um, that dielectric is not spaced constant because it's just smeared on here unequally. So there's all those effects uh, that are getting us down to, you know, plus or minus maybe an inch or something, plus or minus an inch out of 10 inches. So that's about 10%. So for something that's good enough and with really careful construction uh, and better materials, like rather than rather than smearing this with silicone, taking a, uh, another piece of of pipe, P this is PVC, another piece of pipe and cutting uh, one quarter of it out and then uh, putting it on here, snapping it over it with epoxy, or doing like boat construction where you put a put a strip of of fiberglass on here and then fiberglass resin and then use the uh, fiberglass mesh as the thickness gauge for for keeping the resin so that way the the water is the same distance from the from the capacitor down here And there appears to be some other problem, probably a grounding problem or something where this thing has, seems like occasionally it gets stuck. And how you how you use this rather than measuring continuously is you do a little measurement burst. Uh, so you do a measurement burst where you do a few hundred measurements and average them and then store that and, and then sleep for 15 minutes and then do a measurement burst or something like that. Anyway. This is the first try at, and this is an analog type sensor. The, the other kind of sensor using touch, a touch sensor chip, how those work is that you put pieces of this copper, say one an inch around this way, and each one of these looks like a button. And so it's either wetted or not wetted. So it's either touched or not touched. And so that way you get these discrete jumps rather than this noisy signal. And you have a whole, you have, uh, and this is an 18 inch tall thing. If we had 18 inches, we'd have, eight, we'd have 18 buttons. Um, and that might be better. Uh, the other pot way to do it is to, is to have a bunch of strips and just use this same technique, but just have it be wet or not wet rather than having the capacitance whereas the water goes up we, we're getting a capacitor that is has higher and higher capacity because the water acts as, acts as a charge storage uh, for the signal this is exciting the signal with a with a square wave from the Arduino that's how it makes the measurement anyway February 16 2017